heavy aircraft carrying cruiser Admiral Gorshkov was built at Chernomorsky Shipbuilding Enterprise in the city of Nikolaev and handed over to Navy in 1987. Until 1999, she belonged to the Northern Navy, but didn't go to sea during the last 10 years of that period. In July 1999, the ship was towed to Severodvinsk to Sivmash to be re-equipped into an aircraft carrier for the Indian Navy. The cruiser was a sorry sight at that time. The tanks were dirty with coked black oil, the holds were filled with water and garbage, mechanisms and panels were broken. Signing of the contract was protracted for nearly five years. During this time, considerable scope of preparatory work was fulfilled on board. More than 100 tanks, hold and other compartments were cleaned, equipment was examined, missile, artillery and electronic armament was dismantled. After signing of the packet contract in the year 2004, works on repair and re-equipment were launched on the cruiser. With employment of underwater cutting, the sonar dome was dismantled. Big size equipment, turbines, turbo gear units, shafts, boilers, other mechanisms and systems were unshipped and sent to Sivmarsh workshops and manufacturing enterprises to be repaired. Repair determination of the equipment started in the ship compartments the number of which exceeds two and a half thousand. At that time, it was found out that the cables and ventilation systems were to be replaced practically in full scope. The calculations showed that labor intensiveness of repair and re-equipment made up more than 20 million man-hours. At the same time, while the work was going on on board, the dock supporting device was getting ready and shipway plate was reinforced in the dock. In December 2005, after pontoons were installed for draft leveling, the ship was put into dock. The procedure of the ship docking was unique because the gaps between the case and abutments and the ship hull were less than half a meter. After the ship was docked, she got surrounded by scaffolding and technological services and the scope of work's power consumption could be compared with the sleepway workshop. Hull works have been launched in wide front Sections of flight deck, sponsons and ski jump are being installed. Cleaning, grounding and painting are being carried out. Inside, the bulkheads and flooring are being replaced Foundations installed, as well as hull equipment, hanger brackets for cables and pipelines fastening. The landing deck and takeoff deck with a ski jump were formed, bulbous bow, shaft line and rudder propeller system were installed. as well as the mast of the system providing communication with the aircraft.
total displacement of the ship after equipment is 45,000 tons. In the town of Saki, Ukraine, dynamic trials of arresting gear and brake missions have been carried out. In autumn 2008, the dock works were completed, scaffoldings were dismantled, and the aircraft carrier appeared before the shipbuilders and seamen of the Indian Republic in all her splendor. After the grand ceremony of consecration of the ship, whose name is Vikramaditya now, filling of the dock started. On the 4th of December, on Indian Navy Day, the aircraft carrier was undocked. Again, the Sigma shipbuilders demonstrated their skills and carried out the procedure of aircraft carrier guiding between the case and abutments successfully. Today, Vikramaditya is a huge workshop where two shifts of workmen numbering one and a half thousand people are working. The ship finishing is going at full speed. Mooring trials of mechanisms and systems have begun. The work is going on in close cooperation with Rosabaron expert representatives, specialists of WOT and Integrated Headquarters Navy India. The time when the beautiful ship will go to open sea is not far. First she will go for trials and then she will leave for long years to furrow the oceans under the flag of India. But she will keep forever the quality sign of Sivmash, who gave the ship a new life. <laughs>